Oh, oh my gosh. What is that smell? Honey, when is the last time you've taken a shower? It's been weeks since that boy broke up with you. You should not be this miserable still. You gotta go back to school. Come on. No, I don't wanna go back to school. I'm gonna sit on the couch, and eat my cereal in my pajamas, and watch TV, and pretend that my heart isn't broken forever. Listen, you need to go to school, okay? I can't have you here anymore. I tried being supportive and as nice as I could, but this has gone too far. You stink. Look, go take a shower and I'm gonna take you shopping to make you feel better and you're going to school tomorrow. You got me? Uh... Dad, why do you wanna ruin my life? I can't go back out in public after what he did to me. He humiliated me in front of the whole school. What about that don't you understand yet? Going back there would be the end of my high school career. I do not care. You you need to get your stinky butt in the shower and out of my house. Go. You have 20 minutes and we're leaving. And that's final. I'm only saying this because I care about you, okay? I don't want to go. Too bad. So sad. And make sure you brush your hair back out, please. I cannot stand looking at my daughter like this any longer. I get what happened to you was bad, but that's in the past. And it's time to move on and forget about that stupid boy next door. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Fine, Dad. I'll go shower if that'll make you so happy. Ah. How could I even think about taking a shower and being pretty after having my life ruined by that stupid boy next door? Can't believe this. <laughs> but at least I get to go shopping and maybe I can make myself look so different that nobody would recognize me anymore. Yeah, that's what I'll do. There, I showered. Now, hopefully my dad will get off my back. All right, Dad, I'm dressed. I'm ready to go. Happy now? Close enough. We definitely need to get you some new clothes, though. Come on, dear. To the car. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'm gonna make that boy regret ever dumping my baby. All right, Dad, enough. I'm never gonna see him again, so let's not talk about him anymore. Please. All right, all right, fine. Come on. The store's not gonna be open forever, and I know just the place. This new shop just opened up. All right, then let's go. All right, sweetheart, we're here. You go ahead, head inside, and get started shopping, and I'm gonna park the car. All right. Thanks a lot, Dad. I'll be in there waiting for you. Ooh, I've never heard of this place before. I'm actually excited. Today is going to be an amazing day at this store. Oh, no. Why? Why him? Oh, uh, hi. It's nice to see you again. Nice to see me again? What's nice about seeing me after you humiliated me in front of the entire school? Are you reminiscing about that and feeling proud of yourself? Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Look, I told you it was a big mistake, an accident. It, it, it was a misunderstanding. Yeah, that's what it was. Well, it was too big of a misunderstanding to forgive. You had no right to treat me that way. Please, you're still upset? That was weeks ago. Surely I gave you enough time to just forgive me. Ugh, I'm gonna tell my dad I'm not shopping at this store. Don't wanna shop at a place that pays you. No, come on, don't do that. Please, just stay and give me a chance to explain what happened. I already know what happened. You let them to scare you into breaking my heart. That's what happened. Oh, come on, please. I would forgive you if it was the other way around. You've got to try to understand where I'm coming from. I would never hurt you purposely. Please. It was the biggest regret of my life. What's going on in here? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know he worked here. It's okay, Dad. Let's just leave. The store stinks like jerky trash anyways. What is going on here? All this yelling. Oh, it's you. What the? What are the both of them doing at this store? She owns this store. Yeah, and he's working here to try to earn his allowance back after everything I heard that he did to you, actually. Hmm. Well, hopefully it'll teach him a lesson. Yeah, we're out of here. Let's go. Wait, please. Just, just hear us out. Oh boy, more excuses on the way. I know things have been rough between us since meeting each other and very confusing, but I would like to make up for it because this is partly my fault. Partly or entirely? I mean, you're the one who raised that idiot to treat women this way. You know, the only way you could ever make this up is just by making sure you never cross paths with us again. No, please. Look, you came here to shop, right? Uh, I'm sure. So how about this? Take anything you want, as much as you want, on the house, as a way of saying sorry. Well, what do you say? You want some free clothes? Uh, I don't know. Please, I can't think of any other way to make it up to you guys. I really waltzed in and messed up your life. Fine, but you or your son cannot speak to me this whole time I'm here. I'm trying to get over the situation, and speaking to your son just isn't helping. Trust me, I understand. Do anything you can. I have to go anyways. I'll have some business to handle. 
rape. Please. Listen, you heard her. She doesn't want to talk to you, okay? So don't force it. I'll wait in the car. You grab everything you want, dear. I got to get my wallet too. All right, just don't be gone for too long, dad. You know how things can get. You really don't want to talk to me ever again? I thought you liked me. I thought you had feelings for me. Ugh, I'm here to go shopping, not to reminisce on an awful past. Huh, this stuff is actually kind of cute. And I get it all for free? I guess it wasn't a complete waste of time giving that loser a chance. Ray, come on. Look. I just want to talk to you, okay? In private. Just a few minutes. Ugh, the clothes over here stink. I'm going to try shopping over here. Ooh, these are way better than the pajamas I cried in for two weeks. I might have to get one of each since it's free. Please, baby. I it's not what you think. Come on, hear me out. Just a few minutes of your time. And if you still don't want to talk to me after I explain, then I will leave you alone. I promise. Ugh, <sighs> fine. Explain yourself and make it quick. I don't want to talk to you. Listen, I thought that if I did what they said, it would be better for everyone, okay? Because my mom was going to transfer me to a boys only school. Don't you understand? If that happened, then I really would never see you again. So I, I did what they said, so I didn't have to transfer schools, all right? Are you telling the truth? Because this sounds like a lie. Come on, you know how my mom was back then. She was so obsessed with controlling my love life. She paid that girl to tell her everything that was going on. And she was going to tell her that I was dating you and that i was picking you up for school every day she was gonna tell and if she did i would have got sent far away and i really would have never got to see you again and that was scarier to me than not being your boyfriend you see what i mean i gave up on our relationship because i'd rather have you as a friend than not at all mm. so you pretended to like that girl and you dated her so that you didn't get sent far away and we never saw each other again? But what about the fact that we were neighbors and you would have saw me anyways? Oh, come on. You know my mom watches my every move like a hawk. I would have never been able to see you. I was just protecting the one shot that we had. Please, don't you understand now? Hmm, I guess I get it. So what now? Do you forgive me? You understand why I did it, right? But please tell me you forgive me. me? Uh, I guess I could consider forgiving you. Wasn't your fault that you're stupid. You were just trying to protect us in the worst way possible. I forgive you. Oh, well, while we're on the topic, do you think you would give me another chance to be your man? Look, I talked to my mom and she would have no problem with me picking who I date, okay? She knows you're not a bad person. After these last couple of weeks, it's been really rough and she's finally seen that she can't assume that everybody's out for money. I think we can make it work. Well, as much as I would love for that to happen and just pretend that you never did what you did, it's too late. What? Why? Well, because... Hey! Why are you talking to my daughter? I forbid it! I will never, ever see her cry the way you made her cry that day. Get away from her. I'm gonna call your mom back here and have her fire your butt. That's that's why I see. Sir, if you could just hear me out, I, I could explain the situation to you the same way I just did to your daughter. She forgave me and everything. It, it wasn't what it seemed, okay? I mean, it was, but it, it wasn't, and there was more to the story. Oh, please. I know, boys. I used to be a young man myself one day. Just because I'm old and gray doesn't mean I'm not hip to your tricks. You've been thinking of this lie for weeks, but in reality, you just wanted to use my daughter, and it didn't work. It's not true at all. I would never. He actually told me what happened, and it, it, it makes sense to me. I don't care if it makes sense to anybody. It will never make sense to me how someone could hurt my daughter that bad. You know, she didn't shower for like three weeks. She smelled like a raccoon and she only ate cereal and sat on the couch all day. It was all your fault. Oh, uh, what? Oh, dad, don't tell people that. It's embarrassing. Yeah, well, it's true. I had to watch my daughter go through some of the worst days of her life because of you. And I'm not going to hand her over again for you to put her back in that situation. You're not allowed to talk to my daughter and if i ever catch you talking to her i'm gonna beat you to the ground and make sure you won't be able to talk to anyone ever again you got that whoa whoa dude are you serious dad calm down he had a valid reason for doing what he did it was out of love okay why is there more yelling in here did you just say you were gonna beat up my son what do you think you are i should call the cops on you for just making a threat like that oh yeah call them what are they gonna do you think i'm scared of some cops i'll gladly go to jail for protecting my daughter's heart from a son like yours what are you talking about man it's not even what you think the situation has been completely
hugely misunderstood. Mom, chill. It's okay. No need to argue. Honestly, he explained to me the whole situation. The stuff that I didn't know. And I forgave him, okay? We even want to try to make a relationship work. Uh no daughter of mine is going to be with a two-timing jerk like that. Absolutely not. I forbid you. As a matter of fact, you're going to be homeschooled now. Oh, yeah? You think I'm going to let G my son date some girl whose dad is going to beat him up? Absolutely not. I'm going to protect my son. And you're going to be homeschooled too. What? No. And you'll never leave the house. And I'm going to watch your every move to keep you away from creeps like these two. Mom, no, please. We just finally fixed it. Yeah, please. Dad, you have to understand. People make mistakes, okay? You have to forgive and forget. No, you know what? You're grounded for even considering getting back with a loser like this. Let's go. No shopping spree. And no free clothes either. Let's go, son. We're signing you up for home. Same goes for you, young lady. Move it. But dad. I said move it. <sighs> Fine. I'm sorry, but I did tell you my dad was never going to let this happen again. You're darn right I'm not. <sighs> What a dirtbag. Mom. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's get out of here, right? Now, young lady, move it. I guess this is goodbye forever then, huh? Sir, I'm begging you. I'll do anything, literally anything. Just don't keep us away from each other, please. It really was a big misunderstanding. Ray, if you don't get in the car, I'm taking your phone away too. Look, it's no use. He's never going to allow it. I got to go. I'll, well, I guess I won't see you later. Come on, dad, I'm leaving. No need to keep scaring the guy. Ugh, dudes. What an awful way to start my first day back outside. But at least I finally understand what happened back there. Listen, young lady, I want you to know that that guy is a liar. He's manipulating you. He just wants you all to himself again so he could hurt you all over again. You should be glad that I'm protecting you from such trash. But- Not a word. Otherwise, I'm gonna ground you. Let's go. You can wait in your room while I make dinner. The couch is off limits. I'm not hungry, but fine. I'll go to my room. I'm happier in there by myself anyways. Ugh, can't believe this. As soon as I finally forgave him, here comes my dad to ruin it all. Listen, son, I'm sorry that you guys didn't get to make it work, okay? I didn't realize that she was actually a good girl, but can you blame me? Every other girl you've brought home before has been a scammer only out to use you for money. You know what, mom? I don't want to talk about this with you, okay? I told you she was different, but you couldn't trust me to make my own decisions. And now look, it's over for good. Her dad will never let me near her again. I just wanted to actually make it work. I know, son. And if there was something that I could do, I would. I would do it. But, you know, things happen. And unfortunately, you're just going to have to get over her and let her go. Okay? I know it hurts, but it is what it is. If you really wanted to help, you would. How? How could I help you? What is there anything I can do? I can't make her dad say yes to having you around her again. You did break the girl's heart pretty bad. Because of you? All right, all right. Enough with the blame game. How am I supposed to help, huh? It's a long shot, but I need you to go get dressed in your nicest outfit. Why? This isn't making any sense. Just trust me. Go do it. Do you want to help or not? All right, fine. I'll go get drenched since my current outfit is so hideous apparently all right is this better can i know what's going on now yeah a lot better now i need you to go next door and talk to her dad why did i have to get dressed all fancy for that wait a second you want me to flirt with that man yes mom because then maybe his heart will soften up and let me talk to his daughter again Ugh, what's so hard to understand besides don't act like you don't think he's cute well, he's a handsome me man, but that doesn't mean I'm just going to go flirt with him for you. It's way too much drama going on for a relationship to ever work. This isn't about you having a relationship. It's about me. Just go flirt with him already, okay? Have a private talk and explain to him what happened. You got that? And try to be cute, cutesy, and not mean. And if this doesn't work, I'll still forgive you for messing everything up in the first place, okay? Okay, okay, fine. Uh, let's see. Mommy's going to work her charm. Don't worry. I sure hope so, or I may never get my girl back just in case this doesn't work i should take things into my own hands okay uh this shouldn't be too hard i'm just gonna talk to him and flirt a little bit and yeah huh who's this at my door uh hello oh my i mean uh, what do you want what are you doing here hey uh so this might be kind of weird but do you mind if i come inside and talk to you in private about what just to confess a few things please mm. 
confess what? Starting off with my feelings for you? Hmm. All right, I'll hear you out. Come inside. Have a seat. All right, I'm listening. So, you said you had feelings for me? Uh-huh. I mean, you are a very <laughs> handsome guy, but I'm also here to confess something else, okay? Okay. What else? <sighs> About what you, my son did to your daughter, it was completely my fault, okay? He humiliated her, trying to protect her because of stuff that I did. It wasn't his fault. It was more of my fault. What? What are you talking about? You didn't break up with her in front of everybody? No, I didn't. But I hired somebody at the school and she ended up blackmailing him and forced him to do it because I was going to send him off to a boys boarding school in another country. So, in order to still see your daughter every day, because he cared about her, he broke up with her, you know? Hmm, are you telling me the truth? Yes, I am. I, I promise. I thought your daughter was a bad person, but she's not. And I'm really sorry for ever, ever hurting her. All right, please let me explain. There's more. I'm listening. What is all that noise? Is that my window? Wait a second. <gasps> what are you doing here? Your mom, she's gonna kill you. No, come outside. Hurry! Fine, this better be good. My dad is gonna be so mad if he catches me. Finally, I can talk to you again. What's going on? Okay, what's going on is that I told my mom to flirt with your dad so I could find a moment to talk to you alone. You did what? She's talking to your dad right now. But I just wanted to take this moment to say that just in case he really does never let us see each other again, that I love you, okay? And you're the best thing that has ever happened to me. The nicest girl I've ever met. Aw, how sweet. You know, if my dad doesn't let us see each other again and he catches you here and sees that you set all this up, he's definitely going to send me to a boarding school in another country. It's okay. At least I got to tell you how I truly feel about you before you left. Aw, how sweet. Well, since your mom's already here, do you want to come in? Sure. Guess it doesn't hurt to check on what's going on. So, did you only come over here and tell me that you thought I was cute so I would listen long enough for you to convince me to let your son back around? Well, I do think you're cute, but I would never date you. Anyways, yeah, I owed him a favor. This is the least I could do. Well, you know what? I'm glad you did. This makes perfect sense. Uh, dad? Huh? What's he doing here? Hey, guys. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. I came to talk to your dad for a little bit. I already know everything. He set this all up. So, well, uh, what's going on? What happened? Oh, wow. Okay, well, <sighs> I guess what's happening is that I'll allow you guys to see each other again. But on one condition, if my daughter ever cries ever again, I'm gonna beat you up. That's fair. I promise, sir. Thank you so much for giving me another shot. I would never hurt your daughter, and I promise I never will. Wait, are you serious? Yep, I'm serious. You two lovebirds, you can go next door and have some fun. Trust me, I don't mind. Oh my gosh, Dad, thank you so much. And Mom, thank you for helping out. Hey. I owed you one, and now I'm gonna go put on my sweatpants. I never want to get dressed up again. Well, go on. I have to go ahead and get to work, so you ready to hang out, girlfriend? Finally, yes. I am. Let's go. This is going to be amazing. 